Good afternoon. Welcome to Optimal Care Pediatrics. I'm Dr. Monique Mondesi, physician owner of Optimal Care Pediatrics, located in St. Lucie West. This morning, we well, it's almost afternoon, we're going to be talking about uh, developmental milestones. I have a lot of parents ask questions about, you know, whether or not their baby is meeting uh, his or her milestones on time and what to do if there are concerns. Um, so first, let's sort of break it down by age groups. So from age zero to three months, um, your baby may be so smiling. Well, they should be smiling. Um, enjoy playing with others, like playing with a uh, mom or dad, uh, become expressive, start having facial expressions. Um, in terms of movement, um, he or she may raise his head and chest uh, when laying on the belly, um, stretch out the legs and kick, um, open and shut the hands. So you'll notice in the newborn period that the baby has her, uh, his or her hands closed all the time. And then over the next couple of months, the hands start to open up. And they may start pulling on mom's hair or clothes. Um, for vision, they'll watch your face very closely and they'll start uh, what we call tracking, like following you around the room with, your, with their eyes. As soon as you walk in the room, they look at you. Um, They'll smile, they'll start to babble and coo and coo back and forth. And that's really the early speech. Uh, things to look out for. So when should you be concerned? Um, if the baby doesn't respond to loud noises, like if the door slams and the baby doesn't startle or pay attention to that. Um, the baby doesn't notice his or her hands by the age of two months. So usually babies start to notice body parts and they may bring their hands up to their face. Um, if they're not following objects, and that's what we call tracking if they're with their eyes. They don't return a social smile by three months. Um, they're not supporting their head or their body feels kind of weak. Um, if they're not babbling, you know, that's a concern. They're not pushing down their legs when you stand them up. If they have their eyes crossed most of the time, um, if they don't pay attention to new faces, uh, or what's very concerning is if a baby has gained a skill and then suddenly loses that skill. Um, but we call that a regression of milestones, and that's very concerning. So what should you do if um, your baby isn't meeting the milestones or you have concerns? Well, that's why we have the well visits uh, scheduled so that you can raise those concerns at that time. But what if it's in between a well visit? Certainly call, make an appointment, and come in and, and talk and let's address um, those concerns. We do, we do not have to wait until the next well visit. Okay. And important milestones to reach at the end of seven months. So socially, they would enjoy social play. They might be, the baby might be interested in mirrors um, and responds to other people's expressions of motion and, you know, laughing and very joyful. Um, they may find a partially hidden object. So if you drop something on the ground, um, they may start to look for it. Um, they struggle to get objects that are out of reach. So if the baby's playing on his or her belly, they're trying to reach for a rattle or a toy that's in front of them. They start to respond to their name. Um, they respond to no. They can tell emotions by the tone of voice, if mom or dad is being serious or not. Um, and they babble in chains of sound. So the speech is evolving. So you're going to get more babbles, almost like a conversation. Um, now for movement, the baby can roll both ways from back to front and front to back. They sit with and without support, so they support with their hands. They support with the weight on the legs. Um, they can reach for an object with one hand. They can transfer an object from one hand to another, like a toy. Um, and they can use a hand to rake objects. So that means they're grabbing like this. And maybe they're putting food in their mouth or a toy. Uh, they have full color vision at this time, and their distance vision is very mature, okay? So they see what you see. So when should a mom or dad be concerned? If the baby seems very stiff or the muscles are stiff, or if the baby is very, very floppy, right? Those are concerns with muscle tone. If the baby only reaches with one hand, so you don't want a baby in this age group to be handed or pick a left hand or right hand or only use one side. So that's concern for the other side. 
Um, if the baby refuses to cuddle or doesn't enjoy um, being comforted or having people around. If the baby doesn't respond to any sounds or um, if the baby has constant eye drainage or sensitivity to light or the baby only rolls in one direction, that's also concerning. Um, if the baby doesn't smile um, on his or her own by five months and cannot sit up by six months. And if the baby doesn't babble uh, by eight months or shows no interest in games by eight months. Or again, if the baby had acquired several of these skills and suddenly starts to lose them, that's again concern. Okay, so definitely reach out to your pediatrician for that one. So by one year, um, babies may be shy or anxious with strangers like they prefer, you know, immediate family members. Um, they may cry when mom or dad leaves. They enjoy imitating uh, people. So they may enjoy, you know, playing in a toy kitchen um, or imitating mom or dad around the house. And they may prefer their mother to a regular caregiver, okay, most often. And they finger feed themselves, okay? They should be feeding themselves and they should have a refined grasp, the pincher grasp. They can explore objects, um, finding objects, looking for objects that have been dropped. Um, they can start using like a sippy cup. They pay more attention to speech. Um, they respond to simple verbal requests like uh, no, uh, come, and they may start shaking their head no. And they'll probably say dada or, mom, or mama. And they may try to imitate words, okay? Um, for in terms of movement, they may crawl. Some babies are walking by 12 months. We usually say 12 to 15 months for a baby to walk. They'll pull themselves up to stand and walk holding along furniture. They'll be banging objects together, putting objects into a container like a, a block in a cup. Um, they drop objects. They may drop them repeatedly to let you pick them up. Um, poke with an index finger, poke, poke with this finger. And they may try to imitate scribbling. Okay, so again, concerns um, if the child's not crawling, uh, if the child is dragging one side of the body, if the child doesn't look for an object that's dropped and has no speech, no sounds, again, that's a concern. Um, he doesn't point or she doesn't point to objects. And again, if they had acquired some of the skills that we talked about, but um, suddenly loses them or loses them over time, definitely that's a concern. So one important thing to remember is that children um, don't all develop at the same pace. So just because your child doesn't fit these exact timelines. You know, it doesn't always mean that there's something terribly wrong. It means, you know, bring the child in for an assessment, basically, because um, there are many factors at play. But again, each child develops um, at their own pace. So I would be happy to answer any of your questions if you wanted to post them. And I am, uh, hope you have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay.